What's up guys, my name is Phil. Welcome back to Miranda Detailing. Today's video, we're going to be doing a little review of this handy little jump and go J20C charge pack. All right guys, now what is this little thing? This thing is awesome. Now for you mobile detailers, when you're out on the job and you're working on a vehicle and perhaps you're there for a few hours and you have the doors open and maybe you forget to turn off that dome light or if it doesn't turn off, you run the battery low. Have you ever had that happen to you? We have plenty of times. What I wanted to do was get a jumper box that is small, easy to tote around that can fit in the trailer or just in the back of my vehicle and be able to jump the vehicle that way you're not stranded this thing is very convenient so let's take a quick look at what this thing can do so let's give you a little close-up look at it you notice that it's so small it is just a tiny little pack but it is full of options so you'll notice that the little lights light up here telling you uh, how much juice is in here so it's all the way up to 100%, so it's fully charged, ready to go. It holds a charge for a long time. It has this little handle that actually will fold down like that. And now it gives you all these options. You have here, this is your jump cable uh, input. So I'll show you what goes in here and how to use it. Then you have two USB ports. So you can charge your phone or any other devices that go into USB ports and it's a quick charge. So this thing will charge up your devices super fast. And then you have your uh, standard like cigarette lighter uh, input here. So uh, we'll show you this comes with all of the accessories that you need to charge all your different devices. Now one other handy thing it has is the little uh, light here. So in emergencies you can turn it on by holding down the on button here and it has a couple of different modes, different functions, and it turns off. So that's just an added feature to this little box. So this is going to jump any standard 12 volt battery, which is going to be a pretty standard battery in most vehicles. And if you want all the specs on this, I'll have links down below where you can purchase this thing because when you look at the size of it, it is just awesome to keep on you uh, in your mobile trailer, in your vehicle. That way you don't get stranded on a job and you have no way to jump the vehicle if the vehicle is dead. So first off, let's show you how to hook it up to your vehicle if your battery is dead, and basically how to jumpstart your vehicle. That's pretty standard, that's pretty easy, but let's show you the inputs. All right guys, just for demonstration purposes, I don't have a dead battery. This battery is in my Sequoia. It's always fully charged. I never have a problem with it. So I don't have a dead vehicle to show you how it can start up. So now, like I had showed you before, this little arm comes down here and you have this input right here. So it comes with all these accessories. This will go right into that input and will actually tell you if it's correct or not when you connect it to your negative and positive. So let's do that now and I'll show you uh, what happens to the lights. All right, so the light was blinking and now the light has stopped blinking and it says correct and you'll hear that it starts clicking in there. So it's ready to go. Now I'm not gonna turn anything on because I don't need to, the battery's already charged, so I'm going to disconnect everything right now. So with that disconnected, I'm going to disconnect it from the box itself. The lights will eventually die down. Now you can put that away, your vehicle should be jumped, ready to go, and you can continue with your business. Okay guys, so in addition to having, of course, the jumper cables, these are gonna be the most important things that you want with your uh, jumper box, you're going to also get a cable here, which is going to be your charging cable. So this plugs into, of course, your wall, it's a standard plug, and this will plug right into the charging port for the unit, which is in the middle here where you see the USB charging port. So that goes right in there. And once you plug it in, you will see the lights will come on, it'll start charging, and of course, this is at 100%, so it's already good to go. Now, if you need to charge any of your devices, you have your little three-in-one USB charging adapter. So this, of course, will plug into the unit here at the top that I showed you, and you can charge your iPhone, 
your iPad, your Apple devices. It also has the standard micro USB for most Android phones and a lot of other devices. And then you have your uh, USB-C, which also will charge other Apple devices and a few other things. So you have three different choices to choose from to charge devices, which is awesome. Or if you already have your cable, then you can simply plug it into any of the center USBs that you choose. Now, if you have a cigarette lighter charger and you want to charge something from that, then you can just plug it right into here. So that's super convenient. All the plugs are ready to go, nice and easy. And this thing is just a nice all-in-one unit. So again, look at the size of this thing. It is just awesome. I love the compact form, how easy it is to tote around. Now, in contrast, let me show you the other jumper box that I've been using. Now, this thing is a monster. It is so heavy. Now, don't get me wrong. This thing has served me well. It's jumped many vehicles that I have run dead because of detailing. And this thing is great. You can get these things locally also, and they do a variety of things. You can test it. It's all fully charged. It has a lot of cool, uh, you know, options here also. And these have, you know, all these ports. This is great, but this is really heavy compared to this little guy, which is super light. Both devices are great. There's pros and cons to each. However, this will win out because of its size. It's super light, compact. These are the cables. So that versus that. Which one would you choose? I'll go with that one. All right, guys. So this is the Jump and Go J20C. That's the name, that's the model. This thing can jump a car in less than 10 seconds. That's really cool. So super convenient, super light, comes with all these cool accessories, which is amazing. You can charge all your stuff. It's just a win for me. I love this thing. So this is now going to go in my mobile detailing trailer. I'm sure it's gonna bail me out of a lot of dead vehicles that I run dry because I'm cleaning them. All right, guys, if you wanna pick up the unit, check out the links down below and for you mobile detailers, having one of these units is just awesome. If you have one of the big ones, that's great, but you can save space with this little thing. It's so light and it's just an awesome piece of kit to have in your mobile detailing trailer or your detailing rig. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like it, share it with others who may benefit from it, who may be interested in a jump and go box like this that has all these different functions. And don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell if you haven't already. That way you get notifications each time these videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. Check out the links down below. Pick up one of these devices. It's going to be a lifesaver if you don't have one already. Thank you for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.